Now, there is a serious allegation tonight that LAUSD is committing attendance fraud and wrongly taking taxpayer money. Now, the money is yours, and now a math teacher is coming forward questioning whether the district is entitled to have some of it. And we know this because senior reporter Ross Palumbo has spent so much time on this story, and he has something that you will see only on KCAL News. Well, Pat and Chauncey, the allegation is that if this is widespread, it could be costing taxpayers tens of thousands, even millions of dollars. All of this from allegedly faking classroom attendance records on one day, marking students present when they are in fact absent. LAUSD says it has investigated and it believes this is an isolated incident that doesn't affect funding. But with your tax money potentially on the line, you be the judge after you hear what their math and the allegations all add up to. If 80% of success is just showing up, then the James Madison Bulldogs day, may need to be more tenacious and administrators may need to be more truthful. Clearly something is amiss. As this teacher says. Was it a lie? Yeah. Was it fraud? I believe so. How big of a problem do you think this is? I suspect this is a million dollar problem every year going all the way back. Teacher Dan Chang says he only needs to go back to the last day of class, Friday, June 9th, to show that problem at his school. And on Friday, I come to school. There are no eighth graders on campus. All of the eighth graders had their culmination ceremony just the day before. And you culminate and you're done. You don't come back to school. But school principal Cheryl Bloom reminded teachers of the last official day of class last year, writing in this email provided by Chang that technically they, the students, are to report on Friday to their classes, requiring teachers to take official attendance and requiring them to officially certify it. Let me just mark all my eighth graders all absent. Because they weren't there. They weren't there. About 10 minutes, 10 minutes later, I get a call from the office and they said, hey, can you mark all of your students present? And what did you say? I said, I don't feel comfortable with that. Did you change the attendance? No. And then later in the day, everybody showed up as present. Someone went in and changed it? Yeah. Who changed it? Don't know. It means that we said students were present when they were not. And whether students are present affects how a school gets paid. California uses average daily attendance to calculate funding. Schools get paid student by student only when a student is present and at a desk. No student means no money. And attendance is revenue. How important is it? It's everything like students in seat. If they're there, you get essentially at the middle school level something like $60 per day of attendance for a student. It's like roughly like $25,000 of revenue. You believe in that $25,000 were stolen from taxpayers? Inappropriately Yes. Inappropriate, and Dan Chang says, on purpose, when he emailed his principal saying it does not seem right to attest to marking students present when they are not, Principal Bloom emailed back, this is how the district deals with the culmination. Thanks. Were you surprised at the principal's response? It just sort of fit what I suspected would happen. And at Madison Middle, attendance problems were already happening. State records show Principal Bloom was already presiding over a chronic absenteeism rate of more than 35%, higher than the district, the county, and even the state. She refused to speak with us about it. Yes, we were 10%. District Superintendent Alberto Carvalho is also keenly aware of district-wide general attendance issues. Good morning, good morning. He's even gone door to door to speak to parents about absenteeism, but also refused to speak with us about possible attendance fraud. The district owes a full public accounting of this. Mm -hmm. Is yeah. that how it should be done at LAUSD? If students are absent, they're marked absent. State Superintendent Tony Thurman had plenty to say about the system he ultimately is responsible for. That is not something that we take lightly and those actions can come with consequences and so we'll be looking into that and i just want to be clear it is never okay to mark students present when they're absent 
even if it means the loss of funding. His office says, in fact, that the average student funding is actually higher at $111 per student per day. And for the 462 eighth graders that state records show were enrolled at Madison last year, that would be more than double the original $25,000 rough estimate at $51,282 for one missed day. Was it theft? I guess you could call it that, for sure. We shouldn't have gotten that as revenue. The teacher says that this is fraud, that this is stealing money from taxpayers. Is it? Let me be clear. I'm going to look into it because I've not heard of this, nor do I know the circumstances, but let me be clear. It is never, ever okay to mark someone present when they've been absent in order to get funding. Even if it's the last day of school. Even if it's the last day of school. So these are taxpayer dollars. And USC's Morgan Polakoff knows the value of educational dollars at the Rossier School of Education. They're based on, you know, income taxes and sales taxes and other kinds of taxes that Californians pay. To see exactly how many tax dollars were used district-wide on that day, we've requested all of LAUSD's eighth grade attendance records, but they haven't released them yet. The district is now claiming no no other school was affected without providing records or proof. Eighth graders missing, is it a big deal? It could be a big deal that, you know, all your kids are missing on the last day of school. You're talking about one day out of 180, that's a half a percent decrease approximately, but half a percent times a thousand kids, suddenly you're talking about a lot of money. And so absolutely it could matter. It mattered enough for Cheng to report it to the LAUSD Inspector General, not only detailing this single incident as he related to us, but adding that colleagues and several individuals from other schools remarked that this is a widespread practice throughout LAUSD. He was concerned, he says, about committing some kind of attendance fraud. And what did the district say? I haven't heard back. But when we began investigating, LA Unified was recently made aware of violations to district policy. The district's Region North superintendent suddenly sent out this robocall. This issue may be highlighted in an upcoming media story. And was concerned enough about our story that they even posted my old publicity photo at the school's gate. Is this the proper use of school resources to be sending out a journalist photo and warning a staff that we're looking into a story. I can't speak to what they did there. You're concerned over yeah. this allegation. Absolutely. You and will I look into that. this? Absolutely. You will look into this. Absolutely. Shouldn't there be an audit to see if this is happening in more than one school? I think whenever there's any instance, even the slightest suggestion of wrongdoing, it should be investigated and reviewed and audited because um, mm -hmm. we cannot have that in our system. Attempting to fix the system. We're starting with text messaging. Is why Dan Chang says he's now running for school board. Dan Chang, school board, out to vote. And like a bulldog not letting go of a problem that this math teacher calculates costs far more than just money. What really upsets me is that like, I was asked to lie and participate in this scheme. No teacher should have to lie as part of their job. No teacher should have to participate in a scheme like this that seems to me obviously fraudulent. Well, as it turns out, the system itself may be part of the issue here. After looking into this for us, state regulators say LAUSD's average daily attendance is calculated from the very beginning of the school year up until April. That means the last day of class in June, they say, wouldn't be in that sample and wouldn't, for technical reasons, affect funding. They add, though, that changing official attendance records is still a very serious allegation, could be attendance fraud, and they say this still could affect the school's chronic absenteeism rate and total minutes of instruction. If it causes the school to fall below the minimum minutes, there would be serious fines for the district that could be in the millions of dollars. And just before air, LAUSD issued this statement saying in part, Los Angeles Unified has completed its investigation into an isolated practice of eighth grade student attendance reporting at Madison Middle School for a single day in June of 2023. The investigation confirmed the reporting did not impact the average daily attendance funding. The district has been in contact with the state throughout the investigation and is in the process of making the necessary corrections and fulfilling any corrective action required Required by the state. But again, a state auditor says LAUSD has not called for a full audit to make sure the district is accurately taking attendance for taxpayer funding.
Ross, thanks for that report. And we have more information and more resources for parents on kcalnews.com. Of course.